Pointing fingers at the United States, Russia has tabled an accusation of incomplete biological weapon research projects being transplanted from Ukraine to Africa. How true is this? Let's find out in this video. Accusations have been made by Igor Kirillov, commander of Russia's forces for chemical, biological, and radiological defense, regarding projects happening in Cameroon, Uganda, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Kirillov claims that these projects have hidden agendas and that the declared goals are just a cover-up. According to Kirillov, the Russian Defense Ministry has evidence suggesting that the U.S. military department is monitoring the biological situation in areas of Afghanistan and Iraq that border Saudi Arabia, Turkey, China, and Pakistan. He also accuses the Pentagon of operating under the U.S. State Department's guise to avoid direct accusations. Kirillov argues that the U.S. is still interested in conducting research in Ukrainian territory and controls several biological research institutions in the country despite the ongoing conflict. He claims that these facilities are inactive but not deactivated, and they are waiting for the conflict to end before becoming operational again. Kirillov suggests that the U.S. has established scientific initiatives in Ukraine to train Ukrainian experts for a possible provocation against Russia. He believes that the West's involvement in this training indicates a deliberate plan to spread misinformation through media channels. It's important to note that this is not the first time Russia has accused the USA. In May, Russia accused the United States of being behind a drone attack on Moscow's Kremlin citadel allegedly targeting President Vladimir Putin. The White House denied these claims, stating that Washington does not support or enable Ukraine to conduct strikes outside its borders. Russia has accused the U.S. of being directly involved in the conflict and aiming to strategically defeat Moscow. However, the U.S. maintains that it is supporting Ukraine to defend itself and regain unlawfully taken territory from Russia. At the same time, Russia is trying to reduce U.S. and Western influence in Africa. To achieve this, Russia has signed military cooperation agreements with several African countries, including Algeria, Angola, Egypt, and Ethiopia. These agreements involve the sale of weapons, military equipment, and training. For instance, Russia signed a $25 billion arms deal with Egypt in 2018, one of the largest in recent history. Russia also deployed troops to the Central African Republic in 2019 to assist the government in fighting rebel groups. Additionally, Russia signed a $1 billion military cooperation agreement with Algeria in 2020. Russia has also been increasing its trade and investment in Africa. Trade between Russia and Africa reached $25 billion in 2021, up from $19 billion in 2020. Russia is a significant investor in sectors like mining, energy, and infrastructure. For example, Russia announced a $10 billion investment in Senegal's new port development. Different opinions exist regarding Russia's motives in Africa. Some analysts believe Russia is aiming to enhance diplomatic and economic connections with the continent, while others think it is competing with the West and the U.S. Despite this, Western officials have expressed concerns about Russia's recent actions. The U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, warned in 2021 that Russia seeks to undermine democracy and human rights in Africa, using military and security ties to gain access to resources and markets. Russia's growing influence in Africa is not only concerning to the U.S. and the West, but also to some African leaders. Ghana's president, Nana Akufo-Addo, cautioned in 2022 that Africa should be cautious about Russia's increasing influence and avoid becoming caught in the power rivalry between Russia and the West. Russia is attempting to prove a point to the U.S. and the West through its actions. Some commentators argue that the war between Russia and Ukraine is, in fact, a war between the U.S. and Russia. They point out that the U.S. has been the main supplier of military aid to Ukraine and has played a key role in coordinating the international response to the invasion. They also claim that the U.S. is responsible for the conflict as it has been pushing NATO closer to Russia's borders for many years. Others have refuted these arguments. Regardless of whether the war is between the U.S. and Russia, 
It is evident that the conflict has had a significant impact on both countries. It has also affected the global economy and raised concerns about the potential for a broader conflict. Russia has been favored by African countries that have experienced coups in West Africa, such as Niger, Burkina Faso, Mali, and Sudan. Burkina Faso, for instance, witnessed two military coups in 2022. The current leader, Captain Ibrahim Traoré, is perceived as more aligned with Russia. Similarly, Sudan underwent a military coup in 2021, and the new government swiftly developed close ties with Moscow. Several reasons explain why some African countries align themselves with Russia after experiencing coups. Firstly, Russia is viewed as more willing to provide military and financial assistance compared to the West. Secondly, Russia is seen as less critical of human rights records in these countries. Additionally, some African leaders may perceive Russia as a counterbalance to Western influence on the continent. Given these dynamics, there are concerns that World War III could potentially arise. If a conflict were to escalate between the U.S. and China over Taiwan, it could expand and involve other countries, leading to a wider war. Alternatively, a severe food shortage caused by climate change could trigger social unrest and instability, potentially escalating into conflicts that spread across nations. The conflict between Russia and Ukraine could potentially escalate into a larger war if Russia were to invade another NATO country or if NATO were to directly intervene in the conflict. In Yemen, the conflict could expand into a wider war if Saudi Arabia and Iran were to become directly involved in the fighting. Similarly, the conflict in Syria could escalate into a broader war if the United States, Russia, and Turkey were to increase their direct involvement in the conflict. While nobody hopes for a war, it is important to establish measures to ensure smooth operations and prevent conflicts from escalating. As for the possibility of a third world war, it is difficult to predict the future with certainty. It is crucial to work towards peace and avoid any actions that could lead to such a catastrophic event.